Take her medal off. Take her medal off. Was it you, Mr. Simone Biles, who was flying through the air yesterday? Was it you who spun like a top 30 times in the air and landed without stumbling? No. Why is her medal around your neck for the picture? What a choice. Let her wear the medal for the picture. These people just need more friends who will tell them what things appear to be if they want to avoid the comments. 24 hours later. Simone Biles, Olympic gold medalist, most decorated gymnast of all time, took time out of her day, I think she's mm -hmm. at the Olympics, to she is. comment about the situation about her husband wearing her medal. She said, crazy thing is I put my medal on every single one of my family members and took pictures. So don't ever make assumptions like y'all are so miserable. Leave us alone. Yeah! Shut the oh, let's go, yo! You don't know what you're doing. Well, I heard a video recently. There's the whole who going check me boo and stuff like that out here in the world. And who's really going to check or correct modern women, black women in particular. And the opinion of this content creator was it can only be gay men. Well, that hasn't worked for you ladies. So how about you listen to the guy that is actually doing for a woman what you want done for you. And let's get started. And the first thing you need to understand is your biggest enemy is the woman that looks like you and is right beside you. You don't believe me? Take a look at this. We know who this is. We know who that is. Olympic champion and gold medalist Simone Biles. Take her medal off. Ta after all of the, take her medal off. Was it you, Mr. Simone Biles, who was flying through the air yesterday? And this is such a disappointment to me because I will be honest with you, certain demographics of women have the opportunity to win more than other women. A light-skinned, curly-haired, freckled-faced, pink-lipped young lady is going to have an easier time more often than not to find a guy to wife her up when i see this when i see this right here big face in the camera you know what i think how in god's name and praise god Jesus wants to them. and i'm not gonna cuss lord but how on god's green earth did you manage to mess all of that up but I digress, let's go. Was it you who spun like a top 30 times in the air and landed without stumbling? No, you were taking notes in the audience and I thought that was cute, I was gonna give him a pass. I who the hell are you to give this grown married man that plays in the NFL, by the way, shout out to Jonathan Owens, a pass who are you to give him a pass you know what you should do Shut the up. let's go I thought him keeping score in the audience was kind of cute and I was gonna I was gonna take it easy on him oh to open Instagram why oh, is thank you. why is her medal around your neck for the picture for the picture that you post after after all we after all we we've learned nothing what a choice what a choice. In the, in the audience, he does look like pretty studious though. And like, he's like really paying attention. Let her wear the medal for the picture that you post after everything that's gone on. That could be a pretty simple PR move. He's okay. Like, this is my only time to wear a gold medal around my neck, so. He plays in the NFL shorty, but okay, go off, let's go. I guess I'll just take this chance now. Not like I already got made fun of by the entire internet for trying to overshadow my wife and undermine her accomplishments. That is, boy, we are jumping to conclusions here, but let's go. Go off. Go off, light skin with freckles. Yo, freckles are so cute. How do you f up 
freckles, yo. You suck. How are you light skinned, curly haired with freckles and you messed that up? You you want to talk about okay. I don't want to call you a loser, but you're a loser. Let's go. Even I don't think he means to. I really don't think he means to. I think he's just like I don't know. Somebody took the picture and thought this makes sense given the history. This what history? Good. What history? That's her husband. She's his wife. They love each other. And they ain't got nothing to do with you, yo. How are you losing? How are you losing, yo? Yo, if my daughters were losing like you, I'd be so pissed. I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, how did you mess up? How, yo? Let me tell you all something. Most of you know my dad is going through uh, a cancer fight, uh, prostate cancer. He's going through chemo. So the, not this last week, but the week before, I drove to Baltimore and picked up my dad and took him to a doctor's appointment. How do I say this without sounding suspect? I'm gonna just say it and you take from it what you will. As I was driving my father to Sinai Hospital, where I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, we stopped at a light. And as we stopped, we were adjacent to a bus stop. And at that bus stop was a black man, maybe 26, 27 years old, about six foot, between six foot and six two. Preemptive pause, no ditty, great muscle tone, handsome guy, hair, a bit disheveled, beard, about a week and a half outside of grooming compliance. But what struck me as I looked at this young man was he was doing something that I've been familiar with since up my, my preteens. He was doing that hair Ron lean. He was contorted in a way, half asleep, but still maintaining his balance. That if you grew up in Baltimore or experienced inner city Baltimore, any time in the last 40 years, you've seen this before. It's unmistakable. And I thought to myself, damn it, bro. This young brother could have won. And what a f-ing waste. What a waste for him to throw his life away over something that cannot will not and never will benefit him like a dope addiction. That is the same exact thing I see when I look at light skin freckles. How dare you not win? How dare you, yo? How dare you? So the same thing I saw in that young brother that could have been coming to the black manosphere conclave that could be absorbing this content from us here that could uh, book a consultation and and elevate to the next level. This brother's choosing to do what is akin to what she's doing and just giving up. And that's how I see it. Light skin freckles. Let's go. Yeah. Whoever took the picture is a hater. These people just need more friends who will tell them what things appear to be if they want to avoid the comments because go look at the comments on that that picture all of them are like wow odd choice i don't even remember your name mr simone biles like it's like jonathan owens it's egging it on you know two seconds later simone biles commented on my video oh <laughs> she's not a bad looking woman Light skin, light eyes, freckles, pink lips, curly hair. She's not a bad looking woman. You say what you want to say. The bags under her eyes are a little out of control, but everybody has a bad day. I fight those too. I get it, Ma. You're not a bad looking woman. How did you this up? How did you end up on this sector of social media where you are complaining about somebody else? You're cute enough that somebody will wife you up. But I digress. Let's go. Simone Biles, Olympic gold medalist, most decorated gymnast of all time, 
took time out of her day, I think she's mm -hmm. at the Olympics, to she is. comment about the situation about her husband wearing her medal. She said, crazy thing is I put my medal on every single one of my family members and took pictures. So don't ever make assumptions like y'all are so miserable. Leave us alone. Yeah! Let's go, yo! I'm honored. I'm honored to be told to off. Yeah. Shut the up. Let's go. She's such a such a talented woman. Uh, yeah. She told us to shut up, and she put the medal on him. So she she told him to. I can't really I can't really be mad if she told him to. You know what I mean? And maybe he is really taking notes and keeping score, which is that's cute. That's more than anyone's ever done for me. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's run that back. Wait, 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 wait. I know I did not hear what I just thought I heard. Really, I can't really be mad if she told him to, you know what I mean? And maybe he is really taking notes and keeping score, which is, that's cute. That's more than anyone's ever done for me. That's more than anyone has ever done for me. <laughs> Freckles, come here. Your way ain't working. It's not working. Every advantage that you could be born with, you were born with. Just like this six foot, six foot two black man that was doing the hair Ron lean in Baltimore. Every genetic advantage that you could have you were born with and this is how you choose to spend your time that woman is married to a man that plays in the nfl that competes every year it's not like he's a broke dusty and you got something to say wow yo Sad state of events. Sad state of events, freckle face. And you're a cutie pie, but damn it, you this all the way up. And ladies, this is the whole point and crux of this conversation. If you are not focused on you, all bets are off. If you are not focused on improving yourself and putting yourself in the best position to be chosen, it's over. Why are we even doing this? You know what's funny? I had a conversation with Donia Guapa, my mother. I said, Donia Guapa, who are the role models for black women in, in our community? She gave Michelle Obama, who everybody gives, and that was pretty much it. Simone Biles should be a role model for young black girls. She is the embodiment of discipline, of work ethic, stick to and goal achieving. She's a great example. And y'all got something to say about her? Freckles, let's go. And you know what? Maybe I am miserable. I'll be called miserable by the most decorated gymnast of all time. I don't really care. I think that's fine. I'm not the most decorated gymnast of all time, but I would say you're a little bit miserable. Let's go. I think in comparison, uh, naturally I am uh, not just miserable, but also lazy, yeah. untalented, yeah. and all the other things in the caption, I am I am undeniably that in comparison. So I don't mind. I don't mind this at all. <laughs> I don't mind this at all. But um, good to know. Good, good information to know. I think that given the history of it, naturally, a lot of us saw that and were a little you're still trying to dig something out of it. Did she tell you to? Shut the up! 
And did she dunk on your ass like this? Ladies, pro tip, stop doubling down on BS. Stop doubling down on BS. Listen, she's literally trying to clean her ignorance up. Let's go. Good, good information to know. I think that given the history of it, naturally. She looks like she has too many teeth in her mouth. Let's go. A lot of us saw that and were a little bit like, oh, jerked out of the seat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. False alarm. Okay, okay. And there you go. Yeah. Woo! Let's go, shorty. Let's go. I'm going to tell you something, ladies. Uh, especially black women, you are the biggest race traitors and betrayers of your 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 sisters that exist. And you guys might be like, oh, well, she's light skinned and she probably blah, blah, blah. OK. All right. Clean it up however you want to explain this away.